Welcome to Inspirational Tuesdays. Um, we're going to start off with a prayer. Father God, I thank you for allowing me to get here, Father God, safely, Father God. I, I pray right now, Father God, I do away with myself, allow the Holy Spirit to rise up in me like never before, Father God. I ask you to use me, Father God, as a living vessel, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Have your way with me, Father God, so I won't be able to speak out wrong, but I'll speak out nothing but the rightness of you, Father God. So have your way with me. In these things I ask in your name that I do have faith and believe that you will use me this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about something I feel that everybody is going through right now. Um, a lot of people is going through this and it is called heartache heartache is crucial for this day and age I'm going to explain to you how crucial it is but I'm going to give you a definition of heartache. It's an emotion, emotional anguish or grief, typically caused by the loss or absence of someone loved. Heartache can come about when you lost someone, friend, family, even pet. And that pet could be his family that can put a, a heart on your heart if you allow it because that person was with you for years or been around you, you know, to, keep, to get your life together. Heartache, when we feel heartache, for example, we are experiencing a blend of emotional stress and the stress induces sens sensations in our chest. Muscle tightness, increased heartache, our normal st stomach activity, and shortness of breath. breath. This causes chest pains, which feelings are hurt. When you're going through something, it's cruel. And heartache is detrimental, meaning that you're, you could be in a situation where, how can I say it, your grandmother, that's one of the biggest things that everybody like, your grandmother, your grandmother passed, now you feel in some type of way, you don't have that grandmother that you could go over their house for holidays, you don't have that grandmother that talked to you from back in the day more than your mom, because she's been there longer. You don't have that grandmother. That grandmother was more than a grandmother. She was your friend, your loved one, your companion. When you got in trouble, she was like, well, you could do this, or she spoke to your mom not to go off on you or your dad. That's 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 one of your, your loved one. And you can get a heartache from that one, that, that person, because you love them so much. Now you're going through a situation that really nobody can get you out of. Why does heartbreak hurt so bad? I'm gonna tell you why. Studies show that your brain registers the emotional pain of the heartbreak in the same way as a physical pain. Which is why you might feel like your heartbreak is causing an actual physical hurt. Then when you hurt, then when your heart hurt, or when your heart breaks happens, these hormone levels drop and are replaced with the stress hormone, hormone cortisol. What is a stress hormone cortisol? 
As your body perceives stress, your adrenal glands make and release the hormone cortisol into your bloodstream, often called the stress hormone cortisol, causing an increase in your heart rate and blood pressure. It's your natural flight or fight response that has kept humans alive for thousands of, of years. Heartache is running rapid, just as much as COVID. It comes from, like I said, death or family, loved one, or you could have been with somebody for like five years, boyfriend, girlfriend for five years, a breakup could be a heartache. Stress with the new procedures that we gotta go through could cause heartache. Suffering watching somebody in the hospital that you can't get to could cause heartache. Because nobody really wants to be seeing a person or your loved one on screen, your phone, Zoom, You'd rather want to be right there by their side, holding their hand, and giving them words of encouragement. That could cause heartache. Pain. Because you're seeing them suffering. Now you have pain. They can be in they in pain. Yeah, that could cause heartache. Those are some of the things that could cause heartache. Let me get a little understanding. Heartache is not an overnight get over. You're not going to get over that in one day. You're not. To this day, I'm still going through something when my mom's passing. Every time I see December 15th, I think my mom's birthday. And how we used to get together and do things with my mom. I'm still going through heartache. So I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get over it in one day. You might not get over it in a week. You're not going to get over in about three to four or however long. But that's life. Heartache is not going to be not an overnight get over. It has to be treated with care and time. Ways to get over heartache. Combine these points together and a plan emerges. Accept the way you feel and allow yourself to mourn. Accept the way you feel and allow yourself to mourn. Talk to family or friends if necessary. Counselor. Even if you feel you need to write a diary, do a diary. Put that in there. What you're going through. One of the biggest things that you need to also do when you're going through stuff like this, you need to avoid social media. Because not everybody knows exactly what you're going through. Some of the words that they might say to you won't even encourage you. So avoid that. Exercise. You need to exercise. 
work out, do something, do running, do something to get your mind free of what's going on. It ain't gonna free it up a whole lot, but it's gonna free it up a little. Stay busy. You have to stay busy in doing the right thing, not wrong thing. Stay around others that will elevate you at this time. Time is needed to heal from a heartache. What does the Bible say about heartache? Let me tell you. Psalms, Psalms 147.3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He, I'm going to say that again. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up his wounds. Lean on God and allow him to continue to process of your broken heart. God lives, loves you and he will comfort you during the hardship to place you in a place where you can use that enduring strength to comfort others. Psalms 34 I'm going to let you all go on and read this for yourself. Psalms 34, 17 through 20. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. The Lord is near to the broken heart and has saved the crest in spirit. Many are the afflictions of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. God knows what you're going through. That's why he wants you to come to him. Because usually, naturally, a person can't really can fill you up like God can. God can keep you going. Person, don't get me wrong, a person can encourage you and uplift you, but God can take you to higher heights with him when you believe in him, when you trust in him, and when you confide in him. At that time, you need to run to him. Really, you don't have no choice but to run to him. I don't understand how people can say, I don't need God or I don't need this and I don't need that. But for one minute that you get shot or you in a real bad accident, you call on Jesus. You call on God. The same way that you're going through a situation like this is that God is saying, call on me. You broken hearted. He knows that you are stressing. He knows that you are hurt. He knows that you want to be by yourself at this time. But let me tell you something. By yourself is, ooh, you shouldn't be by yourself when you're going through something like that. You need to be with the right people that's going to encourage you and the right people that's going to be, that's going to intercede to you about what God is getting ready to tell you or he's telling already and told you through people, but you wasn't listening. I when my when my mom was in the hospital, only thing that was in my head is God. I want my mom to live. I want my mom to live. I kept on going saying, I, man, I have faith and I believe that God is going to allow my mom to live. You said your word don't come back void. You said all I got to do is speak your word. I was saying, Jesus, with your stripes, she is healed and made whole. I 
I was trying to bind the works of the enemy. I bind the works of the enemy. Get up off my mom. My mom is healed in Jesus' name. I was saying this. Believing in this. I was all about myself. And since I was by my, all about myself, I really couldn't hear God. But somebody else heard God. And they delivered the message to me. And I believe God was saying, you're selfish. How can you want your mom to keep continuously live? Suffering. I'm going through pain. How can you be so selfish and say that she can, you live? I'm going to say this too. And I'm going to go back to that. I was told that parent parent comes in a pair and then they are rent. So God basically brought down your parents but they are rent. Sooner or later God is going to come back for his children. So you only rented parents for so long. So while you're while they are here, why they here? your best to love on them like never before because they love you and they just want that time that they gave you back to them so when they when I got that message that I was being selfish I had to step back and reevaluate myself and say God, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't want my mom to go through this on earth no more. You can come get her. And now I got a better understanding. but I also have a better understanding on I'm more happier even though I'm still going through heartache right now I know my mom ain't suffering no more I know she ain't going through no more pain, no more pain. protected me as well. So I'm telling y'all, don't allow heartache to overcome you, but let heartache grow you. You need that to go to the next level with God. Like I said, you only here for so long. So enjoy yourself. If you're still here, it's for a reason. Find out what that reason is. Find out what that purpose is. Do not
not allow the heartache to carry you down. In conclusion, in life you will experience heartache, like I said, but how you deal with it will either help you in the long run or set you back in the long run. God said he will never forsake you nor leave you. So in trauma trouble, grip onto God's unchanging hand. Let him heal you from within. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you asking you to have your way. To thank you for having your way with me, Father God. I pray right now that the words I have gave to somebody that was in need of the heartache, Father God, I pray right now that they they got a little understanding about how crucial heartache is, but also know that God, that you that they have never that long as they go to uh, go come to you, that they will never go astray, Father God. I pray right now that they will become stronger, Father God, in trusting you, Father God. And, and I pray right now that they will go, that if something detrimental that happened in their family or friends, Father God, I, I pray right now that the right people will come in and around their life and, and, bring, and encourage them, Father God, to keep pushing, Father God. And these things I ask in your name that I do have faith and I do believe, Father God, they will, that they will stay strong and not allow this to overtake them. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen.